Hey guys, I'm Paul, this is Maytech, and today we're going to do some laser engraved spoons. Alright, let's get started on this tutorial. You can get the wood spoons for this project almost anywhere. Most department stores or super stores or dollar stores and online stores like Amazon and eBay carry them. You'll typically find them in two types, uh, either a hardwood or a bamboo. All the types seem to work well for burning. One thing you should note though is the bamboo doesn't seem to take detail as well as the hardwood spoons do. So if you're burning something like a photo image, you're going to want to go with more of a hardwood spoon than you are going to want to go with a bamboo. Before you start lasering your spoon, you're probably going to want to do some prep work to them in the form of sanding. I'm going to be using some 220 grit sandpaper here and I also have some detail sanders here with some 220 grit sandpaper on them to get into the hard to reach areas. The amount of sanding you're going to need to do on the spoon is going to vary. Some uh, spoons are actually quite rough and they're going to require a lot of sanding while other spoons don't actually require much work at all. Typically the bamboo spoons are actually quite smooth and they only need typically a really light sanding just to take off any little nicks and burrs and stuff they have on them and they're ready to go. Whereas the hardwood spoons uh, can take you a little bit of work. Now, if you have a power detail sander, of course, go ahead and do that because that's going to save you a lot of time over hand sanding. And once these are done sanding, I'll be back and we'll start the next step. I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to use a pencil and a ruler to find center on my spoons so uh, I can set up the laser and get a nice centered image after it's done burning. Let's go ahead and set up the software for the burning. I'm going to be using T2 Laser uh, as a software and I'm going to be using that on a 2.5 watt diode laser. Obviously your settings and sizes are going to vary depending on your type of laser and the type of wood you're burning. For this project I'm going to be setting that a power of 130, a speed of 1000 and I'm going to be burning this on black and white mode or 2 bit mode. So after all the settings are locked in, let's go ahead and burn this. Here's the image I have for the back side of the Breaking Bad spoon. I'm going to go ahead and burn this at the same settings as the front image we did. And that's at a power of 130, a speed of 1000, and on black and white mode or 2-bit mode. Now I'm going to finish the spoon off by putting these graduation marks on the handle of the spoon. These are going to be done with the exactly the same settings as we had before, so let's go ahead and burn that. The next spoon I'm going to do is a vector image onto a bamboo spoon. These vector images are done the same way as the raster images, but the only difference I've noticed is with the vector images you should slightly increase the power or they don't burn as well. So I'm going to increase the power from 130 up to 160 for this and leave all the other settings the same. Also, sometimes you might actually have to run the vector image twice to get a good deep enough burn. It seems to kind of vary depending on the wood and the size of the spoon. So just be aware of that. The next spoon we're going to do here is a photo laser of Gordon Ramsay onto a hardwood spoon. You're going to want to make sure you have a nice smooth surface for this one. You're also going to want to make sure if you're using 2-2 laser to have the velocity mode checked to make sure you get the best results. For this one I'm going to have the power set at about 95 and I'm also going to have the velocity range or the speed range set up to 600 to 2500. Alright let's go ahead and burn this one. Thank you. 
Here we got the Hell's Kitchen logo and I'm going to do that on the inside of the spoon. I'm going to be basically using a power of 90 and a speed of 800 for this. And I'm going to do it in grayscale mode as opposed to 2-bit mode so we get nice soft edges all the way around. After this Hell's Kitchen spoon is done, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through the rest of my spoon projects so you can get an idea of just some of the stuff that can be done with burning spoons. To finish off your spoon, you can use a vinyl eraser to remove any of the pencil marks that are left from the centering process. You can then use some 220 grit sandpaper to remove any of the smoke halo marks from around your image. Just be careful when you're doing this that you don't sand out actually any of the image itself. Alright, here's all the finished spoons. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to like the video. Please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And leave me a comment down below if you have any questions. 